All right, good morning. So today I'm back and finally starting the wiring. So I actually started it on Friday. Today is Monday. So I did a little bit of work right here. So um, if you guys want to see what the wiring looks like, there it is. If you actually want to see how it's done, stay tuned and I will show you how I do it. So, so these guys are ready to go. This guy is a nice flat light right here. Here's the back of it. So this will protect the limbs from going back and hitting it. So everything is coated, sealed from vibration. So, all right, let's do the other side. So the longer I've been doing this, the more I go back to you need to have a general plan of what you're doing. Um, before the other forklifts, I used to just kind of wing it. Uh, now I actually draw a schematic of what I want, what wires go where, what's, what gauge is the wire um, to give out the whole. And usually I do a rough draft and then I'll finalize it and then put it in my manual. All right, so we're gonna start off with, this is the pigtail, this is for the lights, or the red lights that we're using. So these are the guys. That, and by their schematic because these are used for trailers mostly or trucks um, the white is the ground uh, the black is going to be your parking lights and the red will be your either turn signal or your brake light for our purposes i'm going to twist the black and the red together and the white is going to be the ground which is going to be connected to my black so but if that seems confusing it is that's why i have a schematic that i follow all right, so I made the first one. It's just a simple connection. But on these ones now, we're gonna have to make multiple connections. So what I need to do is figure out where the next splicing is gonna be. We always wanna leave room. I think we're gonna we're gonna do something like this for this one. So I have a choice either going like this with it or go like this with it. I think I'm gonna go like this with it. Some wire strippers about a half inch back. Now we could have tied them into here, but then it makes a huge connection. So I'd rather have it just a little bit further back. So to splice them together, we kind of peel it apart. And I think this yellow one, yeah, this yellow one gets. So we're gonna mesh them all together. open up our solder. So this is resin core solder. And yeah, you, you want to have a really good soldering iron and then the solder, you want to get the widest part of the soldering iron. And I'm running this around 360 degrees. Get the wire nice and hot.
make sure it's coated all the way around and then just add just a little bit more on the edge you want to tilt it down that way there's like a little bubble forming on the bottom of it then we'll do the same thing to this split these apart interlock them like fingers try not to stab yourself pretty funny yeah so i was wondering if i could uh, take the dmc or get that and then take that to my house you could take the nissan all right your truck broke down again yeah my truck broke down again this time it's uh shooting out white smoke that doesn't sound good no it doesn't at least it's not the axle that is true at least the, at least we know that axle is good and i did a good job I just gotta figure out what's wrong with it now. Alright, I'll take Buy a Dodge, they said. Well, this is what? How many vehicles have you owned already? This is, I think this is my 12th vehicle. My first Dodge, but my 12th vehicle. Yeah. Maybe just cars it's 10 or like 11, you. something like that. Maybe cars just don't like you. Maybe. Maybe I should just stick to bikes and just walk uh, why don't you go and take the Nissan? The Nissan? Alright, yeah. Alright, come on. I'll, I'll see you guys soon. Okay. And you guys wonder why it takes me so long to finish a project. I'm halfway through it. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody has a problem. Alright, so this is the black one. So this is going to be our ground. So I added. I soldered this and then I added a little bit of a bubble on this one. So bubble here, bubble there. And then the trick is to make sure you hold these two together. You gotta have to have another hand or another person to hold it. But I use these because I can never get help. And then you have to heat them both at the same time, wait for it to get shiny, and then stop heating it, like let it go. But make sure you don't move it. So get them both hot. And it gets shiny. And whatever you do, don't move it while it's shiny. And that's it. After that, and then put some shrink wrap onto it. I always try to use the smallest sh shrink wrap that can fit over it. Turn the heat guy on. You'll start to see. And you'll start to see resin coming out of it. So it's sealing it completely. So let's say you had some kind of lights or whatever, like LED lights for let's say a Jeep and you put the and you put shrink wrap on it you have to make sure that you have the resin on it that way it encapsulates it completely otherwise it just makes it a nice little sock where it will catch water and then it'll blow out your steps or something like that so that's it it's pretty easy the hardest part is just figuring out exactly where things go technically don't need to connect the black wire but it's already there so if the let's say the red wire gets cut at least you'll have 
lower light setting on it so and that way I don't have to seal it back here now this is a little bit thicker so we're just gonna get a little bit bigger shrink wrap and I buy the shrink wrap in pre-cut sizes already from Waytech Waytech wire And this, and the shrink wrap comes in very lots and lots of different uh, features. So this is a four to one shrink ratio. So it will from this it will get four. It can shrink up to four times smaller. You want to make sure that you let this guy cool because this is very pliable right now and if you offset it a little bit off centered it that you, you you still have a little bit of chance to move it but once it cools that's pretty much it because this light is going to be the wire is going to come out right here i want this pigtail to be somewhere around here that way you can make a nice loop in the connection so this guy goes all the way down here this guy is going to loop around and come back here. So I want this guy to be right about, right about there. Okay, so we have two channels. One channel right here is coming, the wire is coming in from the other side. Um, it's coming to here. This is where we connected it. And then the second tube is gonna go right here and then down this tube. So we have to feed this guy back through it. And all I did was, since the wires are different lengths, I just connected them, the ends of them, so that they don't get stuck. So we're just gonna feed them through the tubing. This would have been definitely easier to do with two people or if, the, if it was the force were lifted, but we'll get through it. There we go. So as you can see, this is the only part that's going to be exposed and I could have made something bent, but I want to be able to have the ability to take all this out and everything. The only, the only thing we have left to do is to seal all of these gaps right here. So we're gonna take some silicone and we're gonna seal them up. Okay, so now where, wherever the, it's going through the uh, metal, I'm gonna just go ahead and push in a little bit of the right stuff, silicone, right in there, as much as I can. So now I'm just going to take my finger and just kind of push it in and then just kind of smooth it out.
The idea is not to make it watertight, but so that this wire has is not able to move against the metal. Now the tricky part is going to be to slide these guys in. So you can use different kinds of grease. So I'm going to use some rubber, uh, rubber mounting compound because it dries out. There's a nice click. And there we go. Well, I think that's it for this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this guy to dry on this side. This guy, we're gonna, uh, this guy's completely done. This guy's completely done. This guy is still drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work on more wiring, but that's it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.